try to make themselves feel better, right? And, and there is a lot of different ways to, to deal, you know, with, uh, with, with bullies. Uh, somebody told me a few minutes ago, some bullies may be someone that might hit you, but not necessarily. You know, sometimes it's physical, you know, or sometimes it's just verbal. And you know what the most difficult part, or the most difficult one is? The one that is, you know, and that is, you know, bully you to, to the mind. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to, when they make you, they try to make you feel bad, to make themselves feel better. Okay, and bullies, the way they work, they work as uh, uh, like the animals in the jungle. Have you guys ever seen Animal Planet? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Who here has seen Animal Planet? Pew. Have you seen how sometimes the, the lions hunt or the lioness yeah. goes hunting and, it, and it's hunting goes into the jungle between the grass and all of a sudden it sees a bunch of zebras. Now what do you think? You think the lion is going to jump just on any zebra or is going to pick? the zebra that he's going to attack. Yeah. They pick it, yeah! Did you know how they pick it? They pick which one could be the smaller one, or maybe the one that is not paying attention, or the one that is limping. They see where do they have the best chance to capture the zebra, so they go for that one first. Bullies, they go the very, very same way. They, they work the same way. You know, they don't, they don't go and bully someone that looks strong and confident. They might bully someone that doesn't look very confident. And, and they go for those people first. So confidence is, a, is very, very important you know, in this process. To talk with confidence, to act with confidence. Everybody say, talk with confidence. Talk with confidence. Now, but say, talk with confidence. Talk with confidence. Say, act with confidence. Act with confidence. That's right. Okay. And there's two ways to show that confidence. One of them is through the use of our body. Now, you tell me, do I look confident right now? No, no, sir. no, sir. What can I do to look confident if I'm looking like this? What can I do to look confident? Okay, stand straight, okay. Now, I'm looking, you know, how about now? I'm straight now. What's missing now? What else? Forward. Okay, yeah. And you make eye contact, right? Everyone says eye contact. Eye contact. So your posture, posture has to be straight, and you make eye contact every time. Okay? Now, how about my voice? Please stop, stop, don't, don't bother me. Do I sound confident? No, sir. sir. Not at all. Not at all. So right there, you know, it's like fuel to the bully. The bully has more tools, you know, to, to hurt you or, or, or to bother you. So acting with confidence and is very, very, very important, how you talk and how you present yourself. So we're going to talk about a couple of things today and, and, and a few things that we can do to avoid, you know, uh, these situations. Now, who can tell me one thing, because I, I know we, we, we talked about this in classes a few times. Who remembers one thing that you can do to, uh, to solve a, a, a bully problem or, or something we can do to help us if you're being bullied? Who can tell me one way? Turn around or tell a teacher. Yeah, but exactly. Everybody said, turn an adult. Turn now say less, turn an adult. That's right. Okay, so you tell your teacher or the responsible adult. What else can we do? Who can tell me? Um, you, could, you could tell the principal. Yeah, that's very good. So tell the principal. That's right, man. You tell the principal. Yes. Ask the boy to stop. Yeah, very good. You use your voice and you ask him to stop firmly. That's right. Okay. Now, would it work if I said stop? Stop. And you ask him, stop. Stop. Back away. Back away. There you go, with confidence. Very good. And we're going to go back to that in a minute. Now, what else? Some of the other uh, tools that we always talked about. How about, how about making him your friend? You think that will work? Yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, bullies, a lot of times, they have very low self-esteem, right? We talked about that a minute ago. They have very low self-esteem. But if somebody has low self-esteem, that means they don't think very highly of themselves. And if you go and you give that bully a compliment, do you think they're going to feel good? They're going to feel good about themselves. Let's say you could be the bully. Oh, very big, strong bully right there. And you go, oh, I saw you playing basketball. You are really good. Do you think you can show me some time? How do you think the bully will feel if you ask him that? You think he's going to feel good? Yes, sir. Yeah. And the bully is going to think, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This person thinks I'm pretty cool. Do I want to hurt this person or do I want this person as my friend? What do you think? What do you think? 
Yeah, exactly. Great way to make a new friend and great way to, you know, to stop that, that person from bullying you too. Now, how about taking the power away from the bully? Now, let's say the bully comes and, you know, is telling, telling me a joke and he's telling, oh, you know what? You have a funny shirt, man. You're hurt. Your shirt is so funny and so ugly. Ha, ha, ha. Look at the shirt. And you go, yeah, I know, man. My mom makes me wear it. What can I say? And then you acknowledge it and you don't care, you know? So he has no power to bother you about the shirt anymore. Can you think? Yeah, that's right. That's right. What else can we do? Who can, who can think of one more way? Yes. You can ignore them. That's right. You can just plain, simple, ignore. Like this. Oh, you bully. Oh. Don't even look anymore. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now. Yes, sir. Tell no, me. Tell him the coach. Tell him the coach. Yes, you can tell the coach. Well, if, you're, if you're outside, and if, there, and if there's a coach out there, and if there's a bully hurting you, like you're, you're playing at recess, and there's a bully wanting to hurt, and there's a bully wanting to hurt you, you go right to the coach and you tell him. That's right. That's right. Okay, you guys, now everybody really fast. When I count to three, you guys are going to stand up really, really fast. And you guys are going to go to attention and stand. One, two, twenty-seven. Ha! I got twenty-seven. One, two, three. Let's go and stand up and give attention. Okay, let's listen. Now, we talked about the body language too, right? How, for example, a bully is bothering you and, and you guys are like this. That would not work very well, right? Do I look confident right now? No, sir. Everyone do this. Put your hands like this and kind of look like I'm confident. You, you kind of crouch your body like this. Now... Put your chest up. Make eye contact. Put your hands up like that. Very good. Now, do I look different now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we look different right now. That's right. We look very different right now. So, everybody, put your hands like this. Make sure your fingers are straight. So you look confident. There you go. Now, everybody, say, stop. Stop. Back away. Back away. Yeah. Everyone say confidence. Confidence. Now, say that. Say, confidence. Confidence. Again, say, stop. Stop. Back away. Now put your hands down here. Yes. When you close your hands, that's a sign that you're nervous, that you're scared. And of course, you, you could be nervous and you're scared if somebody's bothering you or trying to hurt you. And, and it's very normal. But you have to, you have to make an effort to remember to put your hands up like this. Everybody again, say, stop. Stop. Back away. Back away. Okay, got to be even louder. Say, stop. Stop. Back away. Back away. Stop. Stop. Back away. Back away. There we go. Give us a big round of applause. Everybody, good job. Oh, thank you guys, everybody.